So, I want to put a stop block on my crosscut sled, and I want to make it adjustable. One of my problems is when I made it, I put this block on the back, so a bit of a safety block, just for the blade to cut through and not cut my hand, accidentally put my hand down. My idea is to put a slot along here, and the bolt will just slide across, and then on my stop block, as soon as I find it, then on my stop block, imagine that's the stop block, that will also have a small slot on it as well that I can fine tune past my um, safety block at the back. So let's do this. I, uh, man, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it, to be honest. Oh, I'll work it out as I go along. Let's go make something. Things first. I think I'll just unscrew those, and there's another one in there, and that there should actually just come off. So we'll just cut the wee notch out, like so. It's still giving me the protection of the block, but it's now allowing for me to have the bolt, uh, my sliding bolt, to go further through, further down. It'll become clear once I do it. I found a piece here that will cut the stop block out of. Let's get in the height of that because this was all pretty random when I made it. That's 130. I'm actually going to make it tall. I'm going to make it 155. As soon as I find my pencil, which I say 155. Sounds a bit right, that'll do. If it's not, I'll cut another, cut another piece. But when I come to cut out, cut out my slot, I gotta make sure that it's actually in under here. And what we'll do, actually, is we'll mark it. And well, there goes my pencil again. And mark it under that. So I'm gonna come in 60 mil up. Yeah, this side. And we'll come in 15 mil. 15 mil from this side, because we know we've got a 10 mil hole to drill. Now he needs to sharpen his pencil. Now I could easily, easily, and tidily cut this out on the scroll saw, but what I'm going to do is use my jigsaw. I've got no room to clamp it because I haven't set up my other clamp yet, but, which I've had for a year. Now if you're uncomfortable doing this, don't do it holding it by hand. The trick is I'm actually holding underneath whilst pushing down, which is applying pressure to the table. And what I'm going to do to line it up, I want the block to make sure that it can go over past my cutting curve. So it's just sitting there. And all I'm gonna do is drill a hole here. Using my stop block that I've just made as a guide. Exactly the same on the other side. Hopefully I haven't done too much of a screw up. Then with my nice non-sharp pencil, Holy oh, crap, that's quite straight. Well, that's actually surprised me. I was actually quite straight at <laughs> cutting that. So, 
Someone forgot to actually file that one. Beautiful! What I've got to do now is put my safety block back on. I've got to make sure I've got to get the holes lined up exactly as it was before. So, oops, do the other do up. I'm just going to start that, then I can actually line that hole up. I'm just going to do this by eye because I'm too lazy. All the way home. So I've still now got, still got my safety block, and I can just keep sliding that all the way, and it allows me to, to go over my curve mark. I mean, I know that I've got enough to have a very very fine cut if I want to. So I bought this really, 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 really cheap ruler. It cost me about two dollars. Check that my blade is square. And what I'm going to do, push it up and put my stop block square under it, and I'll tighten that down. I have no idea if these will actually cut it. And I've just got some super, super glue. <laughs> well, that perfectly in line with that. Okay, I'll quickly put a clamp there. makes it easier to actually read what number I'm on. So if I now want exactly 100 millimeters, not 101 quarter, 100 millimeters, and that, 100 on the dot. Perfect. I can already hear some of you. I can already hear somebody saying that this end here will be very, very sharp. Yes, I know. I've just got my file. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And remember to click the notification bell icon, that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. You can find us on most social media, including Google+, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. Please also consider supporting me on Patreon. See you next time. Don't forget to go and make something.